Welcome back to the Porsche Car Whisperer video. If this is your first time checking out my channel, my name is Mason Gilcrest and I cover everything Porsche. And today we're gonna to be going over the Porsche mid-engine sports car, the 718, and what are some of the changes we can expect for model year 2023. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for those of you who have seen my model year changes videos in the past, I always like to talk about something that's called point of sale, which is when can we expect these 718s to be arriving at our local Porsche stores? Well, at the moment it is set for September 23rd, 2022, but I do believe there's probably gonna be some delays as there's been shipping delays, semiconductor delays, all kinds of different delays. So I wouldn't be uh, surprised if we don't see these cars until sometime around Thanksgiving or even early December. Some of you may still end up receiving them a little bit earlier than that, either September or um, late October, but I wouldn't expect most of them to be arriving until sometime in late November. Now, I always like to talk about the pricing as the pricing is always typically increasing as with anything else, and the 718 is no different. Now, the pricing is gonna range from an increase of $2,900 all the way up to $5,300 if we're talking about a, a, a GT4 or a 718 Spider, which is about a $5,100 increase. So those have now eclipsed the $100,000 marker. So if you're specking your car and maybe last year you were specking it, it was a little bit lower, the price has increased for model year 2023. Now, there has been some pretty big takeaways for model year 2023, and it just has to do with the semiconductor shortages. One of those is ACC, or adaptive cruise control, for the, all of the four-cylinder models. You can no longer spec this for the time being for model year 2023. The only 718 currently you can spec it on is the GTS 4.0, either Boxster or Cayman. So if you're specking your car and you don't see the ACC option, it's because of the semiconductor shortage. You're also going to see on all the four-cylinder models, you can no longer option the Bose uh, sound system. If you're optioning the premium package, you're also going to notice that that has been removed from that package as well. For all of those four-cylinder cars, Bose is no longer available here for the time being for model year 2023. Now, if you have a GTS 4.0, 718 Spider, or GT4 or GT4 RS, you still will, will be able to option the uh, Bose surround sound system. Something else that's going away for all of model year 2023 is the LED headlights with PDLS Plus. This has been removed because of that semiconductor shortage. These headlights are no longer available for model year 2023. Now, for those of you who may be so inclined, maybe you can find those headlights later after the fact and install them in your 718s or even find one at a junkyard if you really, really want the look and uh, overall functionality of those headlights. Maybe you can install them later, but at the moment, those are no longer gonna be available for model year 2023. Now we do have some standard equipment changes, and one of those being Apple CarPlay is now standard for the 718 Spider as well as the GT4 and GT4 RS. In the past, all the other models had it standard. Now those three models have now added it to its standard. So just be on the lookout for that. If you're specking your 718 Spider GT4 or GT4 RS, it will come standard. Of course, we didn't have GT4 RS for model year 2022, but that is also standard on that model as well. The My Porsche app also replaces the Porsche Connect app for all 718 models. So if you're taking delivery of your car, you're gonna to wanna to talk to your sales consultant about downloading the My Porsche app and what are some of the reasons that you should be downloading that app. I would highly recommend it, but just go ahead and talk to your sales consultant so they can kind of walk you through everything that that includes. Now there are some exterior as well as interior color changes as well for the 718. Ice gray metallic is now a special color for the 718 base, S and GT, GTS 4.0. Arctic Gray is now also available uh, as a special color for all the 718 models. In the past, it was just the GT4 uh, RS. Frozen Berry Metallic is now being discontinued as of October allocations. So if you really like Frozen Berry, you're gonna wanna option it ASAP as that has now been eliminated for the 718. Lava Orange has also been discontinued for model year 2023. So for those of you who really like orange and like to have that festive, Kind of Halloween color that is now being discontinued for model year 2023. 
Dolomite Silver is also being discontinued for model year 2023, but it's said that we're also gonna have an addition of a new color sometime in probably the beginning of 2023, and that is Ruby Star Neo, which is a very, very cool old school color uh, that for some of you may have seen it on some RS Americas. It was a paint to sample. Some people have uh, some GT3s in that color, GT3 RSs from 2016. I've seen some pretty cool um, Ruby Star cars, and that is set to be coming as a special color for the beginning of model year 2023. So if you're configuring your 718, be on the lookout for that here at the turn of the model year. Now paint to sample, that kind of goes hand in hand with Ruby Star as it was a paint to sample color in the past. You can now spec a paint to sample on the configurator and it will actually visualize exactly what it looks like. I've talked about this in some of my previous model year changes videos, but that's a pretty cool ad. As before, we would just do a paint to sample color and we just put a really strange color on the car, not the actual color you're specking, but now that has been added to the configurator for model year 2023. Now for model year 2023, we also have some new optional equipment. In the past, for model year 2022, if you had Porsche entry and drive, you would be able to use your hand to open the front trunk as well as the rear trunk. But for model year 2022, that went away. So you'd have to have a 2021 to have this wireless hand opening. So now that is actually coming back for model year 2023, and it's also being added back to the premium package. So if you're getting a 23, you'll now be able to have that um, added functionality back. I know some of you may have been a little irritated that that was gone for 2022, but it all, again, had to do with the chip shortages, but that is now coming back. There's also the new option for the preparation for pre-wiring for the dash cam. I think this is a pretty cool add, as if you add it later, you're gonna have to remove the headliner and the wiring is gonna have to be installed. It's about $130 from the factory. This will allow you to take the Porsche dash cam and just click it right into your uh, front windshield. It adds some pretty cool stuff. Let's say that somebody's trying to tamper with the car late at night. Uh, the car will sense that, the, 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 the camera will automatically turn on and will start to record. So it's got some pretty cool functionality, so please be on the lookout for that. Locking wheel bolts are now an option. You're, this is something you're, that you're gonna wanna add. It's under the uh, wheel accessory section of the configurator. In the past, it was a splined uh, wheel lock. Now it's what's, what, what's called the Thatchem, which is more of a key, an internal key style. So just, I would add it if you're, if you're specking your 718. Uh, uh, again, that's under the wheel accessory section. Electric steering column for the 14 as well as the 18-way seats is also gone for model year 2023. Has to do with the semiconductor shortage. I don't think that's huge for some of us that like that race car feel as the 718 feels very, very racy and almost like a go-kart for the street. Uh, you're just gonna have to do the manual steering wheel adjustment. I don't think it's a huge thing as most of us don't really um, move the steering wheel that often either. So again, if you're optioning those seats, expect not to have the electric steering column. And then they've changed kind of how the premium package is here in the United States because of the Bose not being available for all the four cylinder models. You'll see some changes when you're going through the premium package and what are some of the offerings. That pretty much wraps up the model year 2023 changes for the 718. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.